climate change is a threat multiplier. Its direct impact and related responses negatively affect our fiscal position through reduced revenues and increased public spending. The frequency of extreme weather events continuously diminish the resources available for public investment and provision of critical uh, public goods such as health, education, and other social services. In particular, climate change has often resulted in substantial reallocation of resources towards mitigation, adaptation, and resilience. This is why Africa advocates for a financial architecture that integrates the issues on climate change and public finance at the center. I am proud of African heads of state who have not hesitated to make their voices heard in various fora, including through the Africa Leaders Nairobi Declaration on Climate Change and Call to Action that we held here in Nairobi. Climate change and sovereign debt are now firmly integrated, trapping governments in a vicious cycle where increasing losses and damage from climate impacts leads to rising costs of mobilizing resources for public investment. With such high financing costs and constrained government budgets, developing countries continue to struggle investing in low carbon and climate resilient development. At risk, therefore, are both climate action and our sustainable development goals. A better, more responsive, and fairer international financial architecture is urgently needed, and time here is of the essence. The financial architecture we advocate for as Africa today should integrate the continent's most challenging development issues of debt sustainability and climate vulnerability to enable development goals, SDGs, and Agenda 2063 commitments to be achieved. I am encouraged by Africa Development Bank's vision for the continent, underpinned by the high fives strategi strategies and the objectives of the newly adopted 2024-2033 20, uh, uh, 10-year strategy, which provide important foundations for these critical continental objectives.